Before we start coding JavaScript, we have to understand a few basic terms that we will hear when working with the language. These terms are statements, expressions, and keywords. A statement is an executable block of code, or we could say a bit of code that does something. This may be one line of code or several lines, and most statements end in a semicolon or are wrapped in curly braces. If we take a look at the code we saw before, slightly remodified, we will see a few examples of JavaScript statements. You may not fully understand what this code does yet, so just focus on the statements. First, we have a statement here that begins with var and ends with a semicolon. Then another that starts with form and again ends with the semicolon. Finally, there is one that's wrapped in curly braces and notice it has no semicolon at the end. This is actually a function declaration, but it serves to show how statements or blocks can be wrapped in curly braces. We also see some examples of statements inside of this block of code here all ending in semicolons. Now let's talk about expressions. An expression in JavaScript produces a value or is a value itself. They could be part of statements or statements on their own. Here we are looking at some code that has the same functionality as before, although it's slightly rewritten to point out an extra expression. Right here, for example, when we get the form element, this is an expression. The value is the form element itself. Here, when we set up some custom functionality on our form to happen when it submits, this entire function here is actually an example of an expression that forms part of a larger statement. Notice a statement starting with form here and ending with the semicolon. We also see some expressions within this block of code as well. For example, when we get the title value or the content value from the form. Again, expressions are bits of code that produce a value and are usually part of a larger statement. You do not need to be able to spot an expression at this point, but I will use the term from time to time, so it's important you have a basic frame of reference. The last important term to discuss before we continue is keywords. Keywords are a set of words with reserved functionality in the JavaScript language. We cannot use these words, for example, when naming custom variables and functions, which we will explore soon. It's not important to know the full list of reserved keywords at the outset of learning JavaScript, but it is important to know that they exist and know you will come across more of them as you learn JavaScript. If we look back at our previous example, there are two keywords here. Var, which is used to create variables and appears twice, and function, which is used to create reusable blocks of code. As I mentioned, we will learn more keywords as we go along, but it might be worth clicking through the video notes and looking at the link of current keywords in JavaScript to get an idea of what's coming. Now, let's do a quick review before proceeding. First of all, statements are executable blocks of code that often end with semicolons or are wrapped in curly braces. Expressions produce values or are values themselves and are often part of a larger statement or block of code. Finally, JavaScript has certain reserved keywords that we can only use in the way that JavaScript specifies. We will learn more about these as we go, but we will start with an exploration of the var keyword as we look next at data types in JavaScript.